Casey, with the goddamn whining. I'm about to put my fist through his teeth. We did what we had to do. Live with it. End the story. How the fuck that bean pole made it through basic is beyond me. Soft as a melted fucking marshmallow. Different story with Kenny. I respect the guy, but that doesn't mean he gets a pass. The questioning has to stop. We had to protect what was rightfully ours. This bunker is our home. The supplies are our lifeline. If we did not defend it, we'd have all been dead within two weeks. Now we can last months, maybe longer. We can survive this. A brutal decision was made, but we have to fucking stand by it, unified. If Kenny and Casey don't fall in line soon, I'll have no problem marching them out of the bunker door with a gun to the back of their heads.
Wasn't about to let those bastards steal all our shit. It's dog eat fucking dog now, and I'm the mama pit bull. Foster and Trin understand what's up. When you go through something like that together, something that ugly but necessary, you develop a bond to the group, no doubt. The other two? Fuck them. They don't get it. Casey acting like he's innocent. Bunch of bullshit. And Kenny with his moral high horse routine, not gonna put up with it much longer. I'm watching. They so much as blow a fucking fart in my direction, I'll put their asses down. Zero hesitation. Only the ruthless will survive this shit. Thank <sighs> you. 
I'm a good person. I know I am. Well, I saved my cousin Billy that one time from blowing off his fingers. All the other kids dared him to hold that M80 and light it, and I said no, Billy, even though I really wanted to see what would happen. What happened at the bunker, Jess says we did the right thing. Foster says it too, so that means we did the right thing. I didn't do anything wrong. Us or them, and we chose us. I'd do it again, probably. So that means it was right, right? And you can look back on something and know that you would do it the same way all over again? That's deja vu, I think. Something happens and you say, you know, that's the way I'd do it a second time. Deja vu. That's how I know I did the right thing.
Our enemies are weak. They lack conviction, lack purpose. They spread nothing but lies about us. That's all they can offer. A pile of bullshit. They have no vision for the future. They are hopeless swine. All they want is to see us burn. And why is that? They envy our success. That's why. They know we are strong. They know we refuse to be swayed. They know we are united. And it drives that half-wit charlatan of theirs mad with envy. They don't understand loyalty or sacrifice. We do. Because we are guided by principle. And these principles have seen us through the worst horrors imaginable time and time again. We all know what kind of animals they are. We all know that they stand for nothing. They are empty, depraved psychopaths, every last one of them. They must be dealt with swiftly and without mercy before they can poison everything we have worked so hard to achieve. The tower will always stand, Georgia. Floor by floor we fought. Five bloody and costly weeks to clear the entire building. By the time our climb was through, and the building was secure, our numbers were reduced to 36. Twelve brave and beautiful souls lost, but their sacrifices were not in vain. We had our home, our tower. Word of our success spread like wildfire. Every day more and more survivors found their way to our gates. And we welcomed them with arms wide open. We had the room to grow, and we grew quickly. In those early days, we were unified. And as a result, we were prosperous. One collective mind. One collective vision. They allowed us to regain control of our lives. But as the population grew, dissent found its way into the collective and reared its ugly head at the most difficult of times. And what did we do? We crumbled. Did we change our course? No. We persevered, as we have from the beginning. We knew that our future remained bright if we stayed committed to what brought us to our tower in the first place. So let us not allow all the noise to knock us back down to the ground from the heights we have already achieved. Let us continue to climb together. We must cut loose those who burden us with their petty squabbles, their poisonous minds, and their freeloading ways. Trust in Mama when I say we are better off without them. Have I ever steered you?
innocent. I don't give a damn what was on that map. Doesn't prove a thing. Georgia has such a stranglehold on the tower. She could say the sky was green and made of jello, then everybody behind the wall would nod, smile, and get out their spoons. Not me, and not my daughter. I'm going to prove to Ombra that we can rise above it all, that we can remain in truth. Which brings me to a confession. I didn't tell the full story of how I got the reserve key. Ombra called me out for omitting a critical detail. I am raising the kid right, I guess. To get the key, I had to hurt someone real bad. A dear friend. I almost killed her. In the moment, it felt like the right thing to do. No question. But I regained my senses for my daughter's sake. I could see her eyes pleading with me from across the room. Stop, Mommy. This isn't right, they said. I was ashamed. I had succumbed to what the tower had become under George's influence. A breeding ground for betrayal, forcing people to turn against each other to survive. Sad thing is, I'd do it again, in a heartbeat. Not proud of it, but it's true. There is a line with me, and when it's crossed, it does not matter who you are. I will do whatever it takes to defend what I know is right, and protect my daughter. So now, you know exactly who you're dealing with, tourist. No bullshit. Like before, the drawing will point you to the cache. Beyond the location, the next cache is a mystery to me. No clue what might be in there. All I've heard is that it's quite a haul. May. <laughs>